Hello and what is growing on friends, CC here back for another video here on Green Dream City. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm doing just fine, staying indoors, say for the occasional errand and maybe a bike ride outside every here and there. And as we know, a mask, even a disposable one, is an obligatory accessory for going outside nowadays. Many of us don reusable mats in an effort to remain eco-friendly, but as the weeks have turned to months and the months are about to turn into a year for some of us, the box of disposable masks by the doorway has become an essential part of the urban home. Pretty early into the pandemic, I was seeing these mask planter DIYs popping up all over the place. But to be fair, I could only find one video while I was getting ready for this. So if you know where the mask DIYs went, make sure you leave a comment down below. But I haven't had a pile of spent masks to play with until now. That coupled with this lovely wire basket that I've been wanting to upcycle into a little window planter has given me the bright idea to give this a shot myself. But first, what is a grow bag? Grow bags are fabric bags used to grow plants in, just like a plastic, terracotta, or glass container, though it has some special benefits. The first and biggest benefit of grow bags are that they are extremely cost effective. For the price of one plastic container, you can often buy packs of four, five, six grow bags at a time. They also stave off common hangups with plant ownership like root rot being very aerated in fact, the aeration of these planters promote root ball growth. Whereas in a plastic container, roots have a habit of spreading out, trying to find where the oxygen is living amongst all the H2O. So a grow bag is a great way to start a very healthy root system, leading to stronger and healthier plants. And finally, the most obvious benefit that all containers have is that if you have sunlight, or a grow light, you can grow there. But I've seen people do some extra creative things with grow bags on their fences and outside of their windows, and they may or may not be an excellent solution for the fire escape gardener. A few downsides to note, while you can find a lot of grow bags that are biodegradable, it's important to look at the packaging when you buy it to make sure that it, it is those plastic woven type bags aren't gonna break down over time. So if you're trying to be more environmentally conscious, make sure you're reading the packaging when you're buying. Finally, they're not the most attractive vessel, although I have seen some cute upcycled ones made of old tote bags and you can of course plop it inside of a larger decorative glass container. On to the craft. So to do this upcycle you'll need some old masks, some thread, you don't want to use anything too delicate, old train pumps, this is a great time to break out the dental floss, of course a needle, some cutting utensil, and if I had thought about it earlier I would probably recommend that you use a thimble for this project if you can. Cut the elastics and save them for later. I'm not sure for what. If you have any bright ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Because I'm making these specifically for those hanging baskets, what I'll do before I get started is lay the mass on the inside to try to figure out how many mass I'm going to need for each basket. It won't matter too much. However, if one side of the mask looks better than the other side of the mask, Plan to sew the nice side on the inside so that when we turn the project inside out at the end, that'll be on the outside. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Start by pinning the right sides together along one edge. Repeat this on each side until you have the right size container you want. When everything is pinned, it should look a bit boxy. Thread your needle, doubling the thread, and knotting it at the bottom. To anchor your stitches, loop the needle back through the two threads at the base of the knot. For this project, I used a whip stitch. Grasp the edge of the material 
in your non-sewing can and send the needle up and through both mats. Bring the needle back down to the bottom and repeat. If you're doing this correctly, you should get a candy striping effect. I sewed the entire base of the planter, knotting off and re-threading my needle as needed. After sewing up each side, I knotted it off, snipped the thread, and made sure all my pins were out. Turn it out and there we go. We have a grow bag that cost us practically nothing but a little bit of time to make. Now, Muggsy is gonna show you an extra simple, cheap, dirty way to do a grow bag. So let's go see her and I'll see you guys in a minute. To begin with, I cut off the sides to get rid of the mask's pleat, then I make a small incision so I can remove the metal. Next I pin the two pieces together so I can make a nice even stitch. This is a very easy stitch called a basting stitch. You can see I'm basically folding the piece of fabric onto the needle. Now the fabric of the mask can be a little tough so I used the thimble to help me push the needle through. Now I'm gonna do that on three sides of the mask, leaving an opening for my soil. Now I loop my needle through my last stitch to tie it off and take out the pins and then very gently turn it inside out. Ta-da! And if you want to do it even more quick and dirty, here's how to make a small seed starting pack using one mask and staples. So I decided to plant some cilantro in these containers for our kitchen herb garden. Gonna make our food taste really fresh. Of course, I'm popping in a plant label so I know what seeds I put in here and putting them under our grow lights with our other early spring starts. Give them a little water and in a couple of days, we've got life. Be sure to stick around in the green dream city because soon we're going to be showing you all about our early spring starts and how we're getting our garden ready for the spring while we're still in the winter. And I finished up my hanging baskets by filling my grow bags with soil, planting them with succulents, and then I hung it in my window like so. Let us know in the comments if you tried this upcycle yourself, and we will see you in the next video.